Hey, hey, y'all. It's your girl, Erica Vane, back with another amazing entertainment television breakdown. And in this video, I am introducing a new series coverage to the channel for the first Wives Club. So new series alert, new series alert. We will be breaking down season two of First Wives Club, which will premiere on BET Plus on July 15th. Let's get into this trailer, honey. Okay, so I literally have recently binged uh, First Wives Club season one. It's currently on BET Plus, and I absolutely loved it. I don't know what took me so long to watch it because Jill Scott is a fave, okay? Ryan is a fave, okay? And Michelle is now a fave because her comedic timing and personality and character is absolutely everything she is oh chef's kiss in this series uh but first wives club is the story of three friends who are currently in relationships or were at the start of the series were in marriages and we really just go through the trials and tribulations of being married what does it look like when you're actually going through a divorce when you're separated when you are uh separated but also still trying to figure it out when there has been infidelity when there has been betrayal and all of that jazz taking advantage of people all of that jazz and I think that this series is so dope because it just shows older women in a light that I think is typically reserved for just like young women right so like this show looks exactly like what I feel like girlfriends used to look like when it first premiered or like sex in the city in that the girls are fly to death like they are you know they look great their clothes and glam and everything matches their personality even Michelle whose character is very much so like the breadwinner of the family and she is a doctor she's in scrubs most of the time but she still to me looks amazing and I just feel like there's not enough shows showing women over 35 or 40 <laughs> that shows them like thriving and like still you know got it and all of that so that was the first plus for me is watching this series and that these women are freaking fly it gives me something to look forward to like yes I want to look like them when I get older honey but then it's also relatable because while these women are in marriages and I'm not married it's still at the core of it a relationship and there's so many things that has to happen at a base level for relationships to work and if the relationship itself is broken then of course the marriage will be broken or the friendship will be broken or whatever you know the qualifier is that you place on top of a relationship to make it just a tad bit different than something else so I really really love this series and I'm looking forward to breaking down season two when we pick up in season two's trailer though it starts off with the girls reuniting it talks about about friendship being a balancing act and if the first thing we hear is a voiceover from Brie talking about <laughs> Hazel. Um, Hazel is played by Joe Scott, Brie is played by Michelle and you hear her say you're supposed to come back from tour with laryngitis not with some 18 year old man child because apparently Hazel has made this love connection with her producer Nigel and they are fully committed at this point. We also see Brie and her husband back in therapy because we saw at the end of season one they were making a go at keeping this relationship alive. So spoiler alert that actually happens if you haven't seen this already go still go and binge watch season one y'all because it is really that good but in the first season they really struggled and she was planning on leaving him now they're figuring it out and child I just know it's going to be another season of ups and downs between these two. They're absolutely comical but their issues are valid right they actually have issues on both sides even though he cheated there are still issues on both sides that they have to work out and I've been really enjoying the conversations around them working that stuff out and in the trailer we see them arguing about nonsense Ari is seen in the trailer traveling to LA and we saw at the end of last season she decided that she wasn't going to be her husband campaign manager anymore but he was going to win Senate and then move to Albany and she decided that she wasn't going to move with him so they were both going to continue to pursue their careers and give it their all and we can already see that her husband is struggling with her not being with him and they're going to probably have to explore that in this season. And then we also see a new addition to the group, Jayla, who is brought in by Ari. And I'm really looking forward to Jayla's character. She's played by Michelle Michener and I just love her. I think that she's absolutely amazing, super talented, and I cannot wait to see her interact with these three. And then by then y'all, the trailer takes a left. 
because Ari's husband has a new assistant and he is overly familiar, way too damn familiar with this young lady. He is feeding her meatballs and wiping her mouth and doing all this foolishness. Sir, in what world is it okay for you to feed your young, hot female assistant period full stop but then also let's add on to that in front of your friends and family and your wife that you're supposedly still madly in love with what exactly are we doing i can't i already know that's gonna freaking upset my soul when i see that oh wait y'all and i need to correct myself this was not the producer that we saw last season pushing up on hazel this is a completely new young thing that she didn't found on tour so lord now we're gonna have to get to know him and make sure his heart is in the right place because i was all for her getting with her producer from last season he was just so intensive and just really cared about her knew her very very well and just seemed like a perfect transition out of that horrible horrible marriage that she was in with the character that played that Malik Yoba played while he fine all girl he was an a-hole and it was so right for you to divorce him and in this trailer we get the previews to Hazel opening up her new record label and then I think we're having Deborah Cox be one of the potential artists who's going to give her a run for her money y'all this season looks like it's going to be packed full of just fun laughs tears love and then some and I am I'm totally looking forward to it from Brie having to figure out this whole marriage thing and reuniting with her husband after he cheated them figuring out some kind of balance because she's a definitely working woman Ari figuring out if she really does want to stay in this marriage because at the end of the day she did figure out last season that she chose a safe choice in her husband and while they did recommit to each other and decide or she spoke up and he decided to step in and, and fix the things that were wrong that were making her unhappy they seem to be right back in the same boat that they were and I'm interested in seeing what single Hazel looks like frolic and Hazel looks like because she's already an international R&B diva and superstar on the show the world is literally her oyster okay and then Jayla I'm looking forward to seeing what new energy you bring to the show honey we get a couple of like pop-ups like we see essence atkins also playing a role in the show so that is the breakdown of the trailer y'all take a look at it i will link it in the description box down below and let me know what you think are you watching first wives club what do you think is going to happen in season two let me know any of your predictions thoughts and questions in the comment section down below again it's your girl erica vane thank you so much for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss an upload and i'll see you in my next video bye